everyone, this is Damien from Earn the SP, and today I'm building an autonomous sumo drone in Nimbatus. Before I begin, I want to mention that this video is an accompaniment to a more comprehensive written preview of the game, and you can find that via the link below. As a bit of background though, the basic idea behind Nimbatus is to let players build robots that can fulfill objectives in an ever-expanding, procedurally generated universe. This is going to be the second sumo drone I've built, so rather than just leaping straight into it, I wanted to show you the first one I made and how it went in its battle. As you can probably assume from the name, the goal of the sumo drones is to push an opponent out of a ring without any intervention from the user. The game gives you a bunch of different parts to make hyper-intelligent robots, but the one I prepared earlier is very simple with just a couple of sensors and thrusters to help it dance with its opponent. And as you can see here, my win was nothing short of a fluke. So anyway, now I'm going to take the same design and throw it to the wolves in a battle against a bigger meaner opponent. And in less than three seconds, it's over. Which means that it's time to build a new drone. So this is the tutorial which I personally find to be pretty useless because even though it tells you how to put them together, it doesn't really tell you how to make them smart, which is really what you want. I'm going to start off with a blank slate here, and I'm just going to add a whole bunch of fuel tanks first, as well as a small thruster and a button to make sure that the thruster is always working. And then I'm just going to test it to make sure that all that is right. So, what's next? I think I might copy the design of the monstrous thing I'm facing off against by having a frontal defense mechanism that I can shoot off and have that chase enemies just as a means of protecting the main body of my drone. So let's try that out. So that design's clearly awkward and useless. So let's go back to the drawing board. What I've done here is make the front segment into one solid piece to increase the drone's stability. And the decouplers just work, so that gives me a basis to work from. While I now have the means to fire off that front section, it's not working on its own properly. I've really been struggling to get the directional sensors to work because I don't understand their range or mechanics. So instead I've opted to replace it with a bunch of distant sensors that will activate and send the front section chasing after enemies when they come within the beams. So let's test that out. First I need an enemy to get in front of me. And there we go, and it works! Alright, so what if we send it in for a trial battle and see what happens? Yeah, that was expected. So now I'm just going to double up this front piece and send it into battle again. I just realised that because I copied and pasted the front segments, their thrusters are running on the same button, so I need to set them up with individual brains. Uh, just bear with me while I do that. Okay, now that I have all that set up, I'm going to send it into battle again and see what happens. managing to hold its own so far, surprisingly. Until it gets stupid and just floats out of the circle. Great. It's like Dorothy's Scarecrow in need of a brain, but first I'm going to give it a bit of a helmet to protect the core piece. Now, I said before that I don't fully understand how the directional sensors work, but I do know that you can have it activate certain buttons depending on whether it detects something to the left or right. So I'm going to trial another one here to see if I can get my drone to chase whatever it senses and see how that pans out. And now that that all is set up, I'm going to send it in again. Well it didn't get knocked out straight away and we're past the 3 second mark so it's an improvement. Looks like they've hit a deadlock and they're just going to waltz around the outside of the circle. Damn. You know, this is really frustrating. 
Actually, I take that back. This is awesome. Another fluke of a win to me. So that's Nimbitus and me proving why I'm a writer and not an engineer. And if you'd like to learn more about the game, as I said earlier, just follow the link below.